Hey, what's up everyone? It's Gearchin Jumps here, back with Pokemon Soul Silver. In the last episode, we did some side quest in, um, we did some side quest in, uh, Goldenrod City, and we caught a new partner, Heracross. Now, off screen, just about an hour ago, I was training up my team, and I raised them all up to level 20, except for Bounce, just because I told you before, Bounce will basically be our Pokemon slave, like, HM slave and stuff. So, that's what we're gonna use Bounce for. Um, I raised Razor up to level 20, it didn't take me too long because he was almost there. Um, Ace was already level 20, and I raised Chuck up from level, I think, 9 to 20, and he learned a few moves on the way. He learned Aerial Ace at level 13 and Brick Break at level 19, which is very good because this, the gym we're gonna take on, Whitney's gym, is a fighting type gym, or, whoa, whoa, not fighting, normal type gym, and fighting is super effective to normal, so, um, basically, you already know who's gonna be the star player here, it's gonna be Chuck, so let's just switch off to Chuck, and let's head into the gym. Okay, guys, now let's talk to this dude, yo, champ in the making, this guy's, th this gym is the whole normal type Pokemon trainer, I recommend using a fighting type Pokemon, alright, that's all you have to give us, so let's head up here, and let's just move our way around and let's fight this trainer so let's without further ado let's just speed this up and brick break is a really good um fighting type move it has 75 um attack or 75 like power and 100 percent accuracy so that's really good i mean as you see we're just going through all of them because it's extremely easy i mean it's not it's like it well if you have a hair cross at this point you're basically just gonna like demolish um, Whitney, so that's a good thing. Let's just burst this trainer because we're gonna have to burst her anyways, but it doesn't really matter. Oh, so looks like she got a Jigglypuff. Let's give her to this Jigglypuff. And let's give her to this Jigglypuff. And we have another Jigglypuff, so let's give her this Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff sprite actually looks pretty cute. Mm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie about that. Let's see what Pokemon this trainer has. Looks like all she has is a Snubble. I don't really like Snubble. Why did I... Okay, good thing my Tackle Must, because I didn't want to do anything else. But, looks like with that, we can already go first Whitney. Now, I'm not even going to have to save here, but... Here, I saw you at the Radio Tower just now. Everyone was into Pokemon, so I got into you too. It's super cute. You want to battle? I'm warning you, I'm good. Alright, so it looks like Whitney says she is very good. So, with that, we're going to verse Whitney in our gym battle. Now, she's going to start off with... Her Clefairy at level 17, and its ability is Q-Charm, has no held item, its moveset is Mimic, and Encore, and du Double Slap, and Metronome. Now, you're going to want to watch out with this. <clears throat> Not too bad, but if you have a fighting type, like I said before, it's going to be a breeze just to go through this, just because of how powerful fighting type moves are against this. So, as you see right there, it's a one-hit KO. Now, I think Chuck is going to level up to level 21, as I predicted, and since Chuck is at level 21... Um, she's gonna send out Milk Tank, which is ability is Scrappy, it's held item is Lumberry, moveset is Attract, Milk Drink, Stomp, Rollout. Now, you're gonna wanna watch out with that Rollout and Milk Drink, because Milk Drink is basically the roost of, um, Normal type, or for Milk Tank, Milk Tank, I guess. Um, it basically, uh, just heals it up, it's just like Synthesis and stuff like that. So you're gonna wanna watch out with that, and since it has Attract too, if you have Attract, usually attracts, uh, Pokemon, like if it's a, since I'm a male, um, I could be attracted to, uh, her milk tank if she used it and it would be like a 50 percent chance if i'm gonna hit her or not but as you see i breezed through this gym like it was nothing i just used two brick breaks and she was done so with that we want two thousand two hundred eighty dollars and wah wah and she's crying so let's leave hey hey what, what, what are you doing oh no you made whitney cry it's okay she'll stop soon she always cries when she loses so can i leave or do i have to talk to her again sniff what? What do you want? A badge? Oh right, I forgot. Here's a plane badge. Alright, so with that, we get the plane badge. Now, the plane badge lets us use strength outside of battle. Oh, you can have this too. So she gives TM45, which I think is... I have no idea. It's a track. Um, I'm not going to be using that, so I guess it's just going to be a useless TM for me. But now she's telling us to head down to National Park, which is right outside of Goldenrod City, if I can find my way out of here. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Alright, so, as you see, I breezed through this gym like it was nothing. I wasn't too worried about this gym since I had Heracross, or, as I should say, Chuck Norris. Mr. Chuck. Thank you, Mr. Chuck. Um, 
All right, so let's hey, go down. There we go. All right. No, what? Uh, this this gym is so weird. Oh gosh. All right. So with that, we're just gonna. Uh, I don't even need a heal up, do I? No, I, I didn't even get touched. All right. Let, let's just go outside of uh, Golden Rod City. And with that, we're here at Route 34. Now there's gonna be a bunch of trainers on this route, and I'll just be cutting them out just because I. I need to do a lot in this episode. Actually, I don't even need to cut them out because I, I, five, I'm, not, I'm only at five minutes. Like, oh, what is this? I never thought I would actually be at five minutes. Like, I thought that would take me at least ten or something like around that li around those lines. So, with that, we're just gonna keep heading up. Um, should I switch over? Nah, I feel like I should raise up Chuck just a little bit more. Um, all right. So it looks like we have a double battle here. Hopefully it's a double. No, it's a one by one battle. Oh, wow, that sucks. I wish it was a double battle. Are there even double battles in this game? I have no idea. Alright. So, let's just. Oh, wow, you poisoned me, you fag. You fag bag. Meryl, let's bring out my razor. <clears throat> and why did I tackle it? I hate when I do that. I hate when I'm speeding up and I just spam the A button. I, like, don't do anything. But with that, I. Do I have an antidote? Yes, I do. I have five. Haha, -ha. good thing I bought those for um, Bugsy whenever, when, uh, for my second badge, because otherwise I wouldn't have one here. But here we got another Girl Scout person. Girl Scout, and she has a Pikachu, so I'm just going to Brick Break it, and we one-hit KO'd it. So as you see, I'm just going through this route like it's nothing. Got another Girl Scout girl. <clears throat> wow, I can't believe I said I was going to like cut through these. Oh, Diglett, how's it going, Diglett? I love Diglets. Let's just Aerial Ace that. Uh, okay, Zubat. Um, I'll stay out. I realize that. Wow, I am doing so good with. Like seriously, I feel like my Pokemon are overpowered compared to this route. Like seriously, if um you guys need some training up, you can come to this route before the gym. If you don't, if you didn't choose to use a Heracross, so if you want, you can come to this route, train up a little bit. But here we have a level two Voltorb, so let's just break break that. I should have just really tackled it, but who cares? I'm actually gonna. Or an attack it instead. Level 6. I knew that was going to happen. Alright, whatever. So, let's just keep horn attacking it. As you see, the Voltorbs are, like, leveling up uh, one by one. So, with that, our... Wow, our early ace didn't get rid of it. So, let's see. And there we go. We have one more person up here. So, he wants to get our number. So, alright, let's just give him our number. He can call us anytime, even though we're, I'm not really going to pick up. But here... We have this, I think, fire trainer. So, let's check out what he has. He has a Magmar, so let's switch out to Ace because he's paralyzed. And, I mean, well, Chuck is paralyzed and he has low health. So, let's just use Aerial Ace. And one hit KO, and he has another Magmar. Where'd you get a Magmar? I don't know, I want to use Pursuit. Even Wow, okay, whatever. I think... Yeah, I'm about to head down to the gym, so... Actually, let me just head through this so I can make a little, you know, transition cut. It, I don't know, I like doing the transition cuts. Hey, stop it. Stop talking to him. Alright, so guys, I'm back. Even though that seemed like it was just automatically. Whatever, let's just head. Uh, if you head this way, um, there's this thing called a Poke Pokeathon thing. Something like that. It's just a bunch of games. I'm not going to be reviewing that unless you guys want me to it's just a bunch of like side quest games if you want and you can win um certain uh, you win points and then you can buy stuff with those points on certain days and here we have national park and this is what whitney told us to check out so let's head over here it looks like there's a woman over to persian so pay attention please oops i have to quit thinking like a teacher all the time you must be a pokemon trainer since you're working so hard i want you to have this we obtained the quick claw now the quick claw usually has a chance of um, striking first in the battle, so that's good. You can give it to a slow Pokemon, and that would be very good. But if you walk around here, you would notice that this this place is shaped as a Pokeball. And as you see, the fountain is the middle of the Pokeball. The grass up here is um the top part of the Pokeball, and the grass down here is the other part of the Pokeball. So if you just come around in this grass, you can find different types of grass Pokemon and bug type Pokemon and it's pretty cool so if you want to catch some Pokemon you can come here to catch it <clears throat> and how do I get that Pokeball all right looks like I can just walk around here 
<clears throat> and um one other thing that they do here is that they um they do bug catching contests and this is basically the main way of uh winning uh, stones, fire stones, water stones, and so is the Pokeathon thing that I told you about. If you go back into the um into the place that looks like this place, I forget, the, like the little station over there. If you talk to the dude right next to the um PC, um then uh he, they will be hosting a Pokemon contest every single Saturday, I think, and or one every day. So you only get one chance every day. And if you have a computer and you're playing on an emulator, then you can just, you know, change the day if you keep messing up and stuff. So basically what it does is you catch the best Pokemon you can, and uh, then you put it up for a contest. So that's basically it. And then you get to keep the Pokemon after that, so that's cool. But here we got this Psychic-type trainer, I think. Yep. Like, like I thought. So let's Brick Break this. Not very effective, but I don't care. Uh, Aerial Ace then. Because I don't like seeing a very effective thing. And that's it. Oh, I thought that said magic card for a second. Oh, yeah. And you can also find a Kadabra. If you don't want to train up an Abra up to level 16 to evolve it, um, then you don't have to. But um, there's a Kadabra in the um, Poke Park. So you can go check that out too. And <clears throat> let's just first this this Pokemon person. Uh, let's aerial ace that. It's super effective. And whoa, you didn't die? Wow. I'm, surprised. I'm pretty surprised you didn't die. But whatever. Alright, so let's... Let's just head down this road after. All right, yeah. It, actually, this is another way to get um stones. Um, some point during the game, uh, there's three kids. I think there's one before um, the, there's a trainer down there uh, before Goldenrod City. This trainer and a trainer later on in the game, which they will call you if they find a stone or if they find something on the ground, and then you can um you come to them and they give it to you. So let's talk to this dude. I'm the floor. I'm the flower shop florist. Listen, listen. When I sprinkle water on the wig on the wiggly tree, it it jumps right up. It just has to be a Pokemon. I'd be what it is if you shocked out and disgust itself if you soaked it. All right, I I read that completely wrong. I don't even care. I'm tired, but who cares? So as you see, it, they're saying it's a Pokemon. So let me go back to Goldenrod City, and I will meet you guys back on this route in like one second. Alright guys, I'm back in Golden Rod City, so let's just head down here and over here right next to the gym. So here we got the floor shop, and if we come in and talk to this lady, apparently there's an odd tree on Route 36. They say it dances when when you water it. Oh, that's a plane badge from Golden Rod City. Did you defeat Whitney? Well, then there's no need to worry about... There's n there's nothing to worry about, he is there? I'll let you use the squirt bottle for, for a while then. Oh, never mind. Keep it. Oh, so we obtained the squirt bottle. So, with that, we're just going to head back to Route 36, and we're going to go water that tree moving thing. So, we're back on Route 36. Now, if we just head up here, and we go water this plant, I'm actually going to switch Pokemon real quick. Switch over to Razor. So, if we just come up to it, and we water it, there's an odd tree. Use a squirt bottle. Carlos, use a squirt bottle. Squirt bottle. I almost said squirt bottle. I'm stupid. <laughs> There's an odd tree. Does the odd tree doesn't like the squirt bottle? The odd tree attacked. So, looks like we're in a Pokemon battle. So, with this, as you see, we have a pseudo Woodle. Now, if you guys want it, it's a Rock type. It may look like a Grass type to you, but watch out. Do not bring out a Fire type and try to kill it. I mean, it's a Rock type, so it would ultimately crush you right here. I'm only bringing out Razor just because it's super effective. Now, um. I'm gonna try to catch it, but uh, I won't really fuss over it if I can't catch it, so I won't be like obsessed over it not catching it just because I don't really need it on my team. I just want to catch it, so uh, with that, I don't think I'm going to catch it with these Pokeballs. If I can't catch it, I might as well just kill it, so I only have two, three more tries, two more tries. And looks like we caught it on our second to last try, so... Here we go. We got a pseudo Wudo. Since I'm not going to be using this rock type, um, I might as well not give it a nickname. So with that, we're just gonna talk to this lady automatically somehow. That was fun. I want to give you this from entertaining me. So we get the berry pots. With the berry pots, you can grow any berry from any region with no worries. That's right. I'll give you some berries too. Berry pots won't do any good without berries. Obtain the orange berries. 
Put the orange berries away. Obtain the petra berries. Now we put away the petra berries. You have to plant berries in the soil. You should water them uh, from time to time. They'll grow strong. I have to go back to Golden Rod. Are you heading to Ecartic? Then you should go north here. See you around. Well, thank you for the directions. But as if you may remember that um that tree was right next to Violet City the first time we came here. And as you see, this route is definitely familiar to you. Um, as you see, if we keep going this way, then we will end up in Violet City. So that is a good way to get back here. But since I don't need need to be doing anything in Violet City, I'm just gonna head north as she told me to head to Ecrotic City. And with that, we're almost actually there, so let's just hurry up a little bit. And, alright, so, trainer tips, and I don't want to read the trainer tips. Come on, now we're on Route 37, I'm going to skip this double battle, and I will do I will do that double battle down there with the little girls um, off screen, just because I don't really need to do this. But, with that, we have this double battle with Fable and Wigglytuff, so I'm going to brick break that, and I will headbutt fable and with that one hit KO'd and you're double slapping the hell out of me oh my god all right so we're gonna brick break the other fable and we're gonna switch out to ace oh my god that was close so that fable has gone and now you're gonna double slap me now you guys just basically switch Pokemon so I'm gonna do that and I will area ace the wiggly tough so you're not dead sad face all right whatever so let's Brick break, brick break that one, and now you're gone. So with that, a screw to level 21, and what? Bounce is evolving. Dun, 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 dun. I, I I won't do that anymore because that's I, I kind of find that annoying myself. So with that, we have a congratulations. Your bounce evolved into a furret. Now furret, furret, furret. Um. Since I told you I'm not going to be really using this Pokemon, I will be leveling up this Pokemon off screen anytime during the game up to level 25 and just leave it there just for other Pokemon purposes. Like if I have to catch a legendary or something like that, um, that is around that level, then I could use, um, bounce for that. So with that, we're in Ecrotique City. I'm just going to come into the Pokemon Center. Heal. Whoa, who, who's this poke? Who's this person that stopped us? Hi, I'm Bill. And who are you? Hmm, Carlos, huh? You know what? I'm one who I'm the one who developed the uh, system to transfer Pokemon, but it could have been done by it could have been done for anybody alone. For example, do you know the Hoenn region? The girl Lenet from Hoenn made this Pokemon storage system easier to use. My friends all over the world are working together to improve the Pokemon trade and storage systems. I have to hurry back to Golden Rod City to see my folks. Bye bye. Now, if you go back down to Golden Rod City, I will show this off screen next episode. Um. Well, not off screen next episode. I'll show it next episode. If you go to Golden Rod City, he gives you something special, so that will be good. I don't know if it's after or if it's after game or during game, but I'm pretty sure it's during game. So I'll, next episode, you'll see me in Golden Rod City at the beginning of the episode, and I will just cut down up Ecrotique, just giving you a little heads up for um, next episode. So with that, since we're in Ecrotique City and all that, I might as well just end off the episode here. Peace out, guys.